Okay, let's try this again for the fifth time. <laughs> um, this is a tutorial on motion tracing. Really simple, quick tutorial. Maybe not quick, it does take a while, but it's really simple. I can do it, anyone else can do it. So um, let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to load an AVI file, and I'm going to show an example real quick before I do anything else. Um, as you can see here, cannot open AVI file. If you have an AVI file that you get this message, this is what you need to do. You need to download the program called Prism Video File Converter, and I will put a link in the description for it. Then what you want to do is you want to click Add Files, and double click on the AVI file, or the video file, it doesn't have to be AVI. Make sure the output format is AVI and click on encoder options and make sure that the video compressor is Microsoft Video 1 or yeah, push OK and then click convert and it should convert into the folder that you have here which mine is in videos but you click convert and yeah, so that's that. Now you can load the background so let me find the video real quick and this is my face, look how beautiful I look, holy shit, <laughs> not really. Um, to resize your video, you just push the shift key on your keyboard and the magnifying glass up here and you just do that number. You can even do it with the uh, arrow things, I don't know what the hell it's called, movement tool I guess. Shift, just make sure you have the shift key pressed before you, yeah. So we're going to load Aya here, this is, um, this is how I'm going to do my Mad Father movie to be honest with you baby children. So um, I'm going to have like me doing movements for my movie. So this is going to how Mad Father's going to go down. Because for one, it's easier than trying to guess where the movements go and two, it's easier than trying to guess where the movements go. So we're going to do a little, give her a relaxed pose. Let's relax the 1B, click the register. And have the pupils. Alright, then so we're going to um I'm gonna give her a regret too. Because we don't want her smiling, we want her to look scared and shit. Um, one more I think. Let me look at that. That's better. So we're gonna find the part where I turn my head. And we're gonna go forward just about a couple of frames. We're gonna select all register. And I turn my head about 40, 44 frames, so I'm going to turn her upper body so it kind of matches, kind of turn her upper body a little bit, turn her neck over there, and finally turn her eyes that way too, unregister, register. And what I like to do is I like to play with the interpolation curve, the rotation. So this is usually what I have it on. I just push copy so I can, I don't have to do anything else with it. And see, I kind of bob a little bit there too. So let me kind of... Let's see. about 75 is when I turn back around, so reset, 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 and register, register, paste, interpolation, and make her head tilt down a little bit, let's move her this way so I can see what I'm doing. Let's select all register and have the pupil and the blink. So about right there is when I so we're gonna turn the pupil off, do a blink. Kind of rotate this. A 
let's rotate this. And finally, let's rotate the arm. And we're going to load, see that's her left, so we're going to load a motion data, or a pose data, register, paste. And we're going to link. All right, here I'm gonna have her blink fully. Give her a pupil. Oh god, that face is creepy. Let's see, blink. Pupil. Reset. Come here. There we go. Register. Match it. Let me go back. Copy. Paste. No, I should. Paste. And there we have a very nice looking and animation. That's how very nice. Okay, let's see how that looks. Um, we can get rid of my face because <laughs> that's just creepy. Um, we're gonna load Aya's room. Because this is the scene it's going to be in, so I'm just going to load her room. Um, this one... Stages... There we go. Let's remove the axis and the shadows. And let's move Aya... Over here. All the model. Damn it, check. Oh my god, those skirt physics though. <laughs> Am I right? Are you right, Dolly? Oh my god. We're going to copy that. Paste that, paste that, paste that. It should be stuck in the same place now, let's see. And there we go, we have a nice animation. Um, let me kind of maybe move her feet out a little bit, because I don't like how they're stuck together like that. I'm sorry, I don't. So I'm going to copy that. Paste. 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 Okay. Make a camera position. I don't know why I posed her feet for. I only go to the upper body, but you know what? Who cares? Who cares? So this is what it looks like.
Her arms are a little stiff, though. I don't like that. Kind of maybe do something with her arms. Maybe bend them a little bit. Let's try that. That looks pretty good. Let me push camera mode. And that is how you do emotion tracing. I hope this tutorial somewhat helped you. If not, then I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you baby children soon. Bye!